See you around. <coughs> Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Baby. We can't keep needing this way, old boy. D'accord. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. My arm. <laughs> yes, very ugly, but not life-threatening. I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. Please, Big B, don't move it, Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life. At the moment, but joke? if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. baisser encore un peu le jeu tac 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 baissons encore un peu le jeu for heaven's sake see now that wasn't so difficult was it uh. That'll do. You're probably better off. This way I won't have to reset it later. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> C'est parce qu'elle joue certainement un jeu genre Lucius ou quoi. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay <rire> at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. Wolf, out of the woods. Space to work, so if you wouldn't mind, stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh please, I could do this with my optic nerve severed. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, Could you leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, <laughs> you're not even supposed to be here right now. Because you're oh, really? Doing. Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. Qu'est-ce que tu fais sur Skype encore? C'est pas ton âge. There, all done. Great. This is ouais, j'ai fait un live sur Lucius. Having visits Mon with me. Mon Dieu, c'est quoi cette merde? Well, this time, this time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart. The only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss Watt, j'ai de l'argent. J'ai de l'argent. Il est dans le morgue. Il est dans le light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume. Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. I can still hear you. Oui, j'ai fait un live sur Lucius. Anyway, tu peux le voir sur la chaîne, sur la chaîne get, YouTube. Je l'ai laissé. Sheriff, Colin, Swiney. Pas de black cushion. Whiskey for disaffected. So, how do you um, feel? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. How do you think I feel? Hey, like like shit. You should see how you look. <laughs> I look like shit. You had us 
You stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... Um, pretty hard to kill. I... Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. <laughs> Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? Well, And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? Crane is still our focus. I just can't forget everything he's done. I don't care if he has problems with the crooked man. Ichapod's gone. It's over for him. He's not coming back. It's not about Crane anymore, baby. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options... I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder... Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, what I for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb? What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Crane was a puppet, and the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The crooked man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. <laughs> Bigby's the one on the front lines. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but... We're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody yeah, wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. 
And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. That's not gonna happen. Yes, it will. It's an impossible rule to enforce, no. You really expect to round up every talking cat and raven in town? There's not that many stragglers left. Except the one or two you make excuses for. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Mm, Nerissa. Nerissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Ah, uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. Something about your prickly demeanor attracts him like a moth to a flame. She knows something. <laughs> She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. On dirait un jour de laisse Monaco. Aïe aïe, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Mais non. I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Puis je ferai comment pour le prochain brunch sans bacon? Dalita. Have a seat. D'accord. Bon lol, si tu veux. Bisous. I... Um... Are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be... You know, around. If I came by. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Short. Moi je fume des short. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work. Huh. Oh, merde. What I, mean I don't want to waste your time, 
But I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, when we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I, I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter, and I, I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. Are you telling me my friends are involved? <sighs> I'm sorry. My lips are sealed. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... It's okay. Take your time. I'm in a jupe. I'm sorry <laughs> if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Le ruban, enlève le ruban. Il va l'enlever, il va l'enlever. Retirer le ruban. You mind if I just. No! These lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't do that! Oh, Slow down, it's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. Please. Don't. Oh, man. <sighs> okay. I get simple. it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. Oh, ça coupe la tête. C'est pour ça que l'autre avait. C'est ce qui leur coupe la tronche. If anyone finds out I came here. That's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of. trouble. I won't tell ah, anyone, don't worry. Samba. Thank you. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. But wait, you don't have to go. That was uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? 
She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Voila. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on? That's what Nerissa was doing. Telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. Putain, you know, Beauty le... came to me a while back. Quand la club par terre, ça m'énerve. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere bien, else. Très bien, le manga battle royale qui est ultra gore. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. With good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. Mais écoute, en plus c'est une série qui a cause, je crois qu'il y a que 12 volumes, oh. donc... Euh... What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? Stirring the pot? You called, right? Or, uh... Was it beauty? Why would I call you? Moi, je viens de commencer la nouvelle série de GTO qui est plutôt sympa. Listen, I've had a shitty night. I think you're the only one, and I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. C'est bien ça. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Sorcière. So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Just after my anniversary. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What is he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Talk about living in the past. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of life and answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later. But we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. C'est très sympa les premiers volumes sont plutôt bonheurs. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, une semaine avant you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place. J'aurais 30 ans. It looks uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast. No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but. That's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. 
Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I just really I'd do. like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. And just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that eh oui, we had nowhere else to turn. Uh, and we got in over GTO. our heads. There's eu, not a lot of work out there. Day, je crois que Who would Et we donc, be a, if we just live like... Tu like... Tu tu suis toujours au Nizuka dans, dans une nouvelle classe avec des nouveaux, euh, des nouveaux cassos. Et c'est plutôt drôle. Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> can we finish this conversation we first? I should right get now, that. So Come leave on. a message at the beep and we'll get That's back to you as soon as... <laughs> humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. Ah, ben voilà. All I care about is how can I find the crooked man? Uh, Who do I talk Steven. to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, Just your... that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the Woodsman's Axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Tried to chop my damn head <laughs> off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll well, go check out the Lucky the Pond. Du... If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street, same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's me. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. When I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. 
and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She, uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. Mary works out of there. I need to look into it. Ils ont fait d'autres soucis sur Xbox One, bien. I just wanted to provide for Beauty, give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this, scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. No. Probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Like bound. Oh, putain, j'hésite. Je vais où? You know that butcher shop, the cut above? The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. You know that butcher? The Lucky Pawn. That's where ah, I borrowed the money. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The Crooked Man's behind that place. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? Allez, boucherie. I want to know what the Crooked Man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait, I don't know what you're planning to do ah, when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Ça pas de boss de jouer avec vous aussi, donc c'est pour ça que je vous demande. Alors, Big B Hub, Ogby. Huh, empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. On va de la fin, là. Mm, not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Big B Wolf? <coughs> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? <coughs> um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin. Johan, I want to know exactly what's going on here. We sell meat. Did you want to buy something? <laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meat. You'll find anything else. We just uh, 
We do more wholesale and meatpacking than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. So you don't mind if I take a look around? I guess not. I... Sheriff, I... Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Shit. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. just want to talk. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. I'm just doing my job, Johan. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Things I do. <laughs> huh? How you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby. What happened to that. Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't wanna die. Please. Please don't, don't kill me. Bit. Shut the fuck up! What the fuck are you hiding back there? You, you, you're a monster. A fucking monster. Why are you doing this? I'm not part of their crew. I won't fuck. The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil. D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, longer. having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. You lied to me in the front. Why the fuck should I believe you now? Because it's the truth. I knew this would happen. Didn't know... Shh. That is... <clears throat> Is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business. It's all I've ever had. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. They'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me, but you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. 
Where were you when they took this place from me? Je sens rien, connard. It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Oh. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Huh. Looks like math or something. Shit. Is everybody on here? Do you know anything about this? I, I, I don't know. Well, a lot of fables out there need a lot of things. Bon, du coup, on va, on va se calmer là pour ce soir. Maybe just don't touch anything back here. On reprendra Please. la semaine prochaine. Euh, merci d'être passé. N'hésitez pas à nous retrouver sur Facebook et sur le Facebook de Gamer Network, qui sont Facebook à moi, donc sur euh, sur Hop 360 minutes pour survivre, sur le YouTube Hop 360, sur le sur le Facebook de Gamer Network, bien sûr sur le site de Gamer Network. Et puis d'ici là, passez une bonne soirée. Et à la semaine prochaine, n'hésitez pas à regarder les autres lives de la chaîne. Allez. A la prochaine, bisous les amis